Today's training vlog is brought to you by our clean only program. So this program is eight weeks in length, two sessions a week. It is for your clean or if you want to improve your power clean, there are some variations in the program and some deviations that will be very obvious to you when you get the program. If you want to go for a one RM power clean as opposed to a one RM clean at the end of the program. So apologies for the amateur hour camera on this particular part, but I wanted to show you a session from last week. It was 10 singles at 120 kilos in the snatch. I actually videoed these on the camera, but the memory card corrupted, so I have to use my phone footage, hence the black bands to the side of your screen. So I was pretty happy with these. I'll talk to more in depth about this in relation to what Gabriel helped me with my snatch, but it's just essentially it's just a higher hip position and it makes, uh, feels a lot better. Uh, you know, it's funny when you're watching your own stuff, over and over it's just very hard to be fully objective with things you need to fix you know for someone else you'd see it immediately but when it's your own lifting it's something you see all the time it's hard to be fully objective especially when you're feeling stuff rather than when you just need to look at it so again the reason for the high volume is because volume and weightlifting is the name of the game it's as much volume as possible prior to this session so two days before on the tuesday i did 11 by 2 at 110 kilos in the snatch and then on this session, it was 10 singles at 120. So very, very happy to most of these. Uh, I'm quite happy with the pull. Main thing on those was just a little bit something strange in my overhead position in the snatch. Nothing painful. It just looks a little bit loose in the left arm. So I need to address it. Then moving on to the Sunday session. So some of you might have caught the live stream on Saturday where I did a lighter session. And then onto the Sunday session where I worked up to 130 for six singles in a snatch. I was originally thinking about doing some heavier doubles but uh, I figured I'd get some more singles in at 130 and some practice some reps so here's just 120 so the last kind of single before the 130 so six singles still trying to use a new start position uh, focusing on one or two things that I was trying to see which felt better so in the initial first pull I was thinking of kind of pushing hard with my legs or on some of the other reps I tried kind of sweeping it back a little bit more now they don't look hugely different but there is a subtle difference with some of them uh, I'm quite happy with how most of them were looking a little bit fatigued on these so the barbell was moving a little bit slow in the first and second pull happily though the barbell moves quite fast in the third pull and the pull and under so that's obviously quite a, a big positive I actually think for the first time in a while the one of the issues in my lifting right now or just not one of the issues I suppose one of the fires you have to put out because you know in weightlifting you're always trying to put out fires is that I think my leg strength is actually while well, not hold me back right now it is slightly impacting my lifting so normally my squat would be north of 250 around these weights but because I haven't been pushing my squat as much uh, the I think the lifts could benefit of a little bit more especially at first and halfway up that second pull that that quad strength could do with it so my back squat right now I would think on a good day is probably only 240 or so you know which is technically enough to do the lifts I want but levels of efficiency you know there's a difference between ideal efficiency and between what kind of suits that lifter best in general I think I'm, I'm su I, my lifting goes quite well when I have a higher back squat to lifting ratio so we'll see how that transgresses so just a couple of reps in these uh, quite happy with them considering so we'll keep working those considering what i did 130 uh, for the first time like two weekends ago so the progress is going well and that 140 last weekend so I'm quite happy just need to work in that overhead position then on to the clean and jerks so on the clean and jerks i've been working really hard my front rack mobility is the same to a lot of as same before and the um holding the hook grip in the bottom of the clean is something that i've always preferred uh, but not always allowed you to mobility it is quite difficult but in this session, I was like, right, I've been doing stuff for my clean. And I thought, fuck it, I'm going to just try for this session. The mobility feels good. I can do the full grip on the front squats, as you saw last week. So I worked up into this. And for me, when I hold that hook grip, as we always recommend people do, if at all possible, is it just allows for a more connected third pull for me. It's third, second and third pull, and then a much more secure bottom position. So a little bit off balance in one or two of these but it actually got better as I got heavier because I was getting more practice with the hook grip so this 140 very happy with these nice positions good timing uh, jerks were a tiny bit off today and you'll notice that my knees are going way too far over my toes in relation to the dip and drive of the jerk I should be looking for more of a straight down with my hips and my hips slightly behind my heels 
here's 150 nice timing strong pull under uh, i feel very confident while doing these as well which is great but i just need to uh get used to that kind of holding the hook grip again uh, the 185 i did last september i was holding the hook grip and i practiced it like a week or two beforehand so get it in earlier at this stage and here's 155 so you may have seen i missed the jerk not missed the jerk at clark the jerk because i nearly passed out last weekend so here me is coming back a little smash it it's okay not that happy with the jerk but it's okay for now it'll do uh they're coming back nicely so pretty decent sessions overall I feel like everything is going as well as it could be and should be and as well as it needs to be so i'm pretty happy with those i think uh i'll try some more of these sessions this week because i'll be traveling to the uk again uh, for a couple of days so i'll have more opportunity to video more of the sessions uh so things i'll be working on first pull with the new star position keeping my back tight in the snatch working in the overhead position on the clean, keep working at the hook grip and holding it. I'm really happy with that. That feels like, recommend you try it if at all possible. On the jerk, I actually need to start strict pressing again, which is funny enough, I've kind of left it go. Uh, you know, we're always telling people you should be strict pressing for your jerk. And while I've done 120 before, it needs to be what you're currently capable of. My strict press is probably, uh, if on a good day, if you put a gun to my head, I'd probably hit 100, but it needs to be better than that. So it needs to be stronger. So I need to start strict pressing again now and i think as well i think i'll need to push the squats a little bit harder specifically the back squats so i've been pushing the front squats quite well and they've been going where i need them to go but i think that back squat needs to be a little bit a little bit further along and for today's algorithm comment let me know what show you're watching because i'm watching the boys i start the boys the boys i started that last week and i'm already on season three so i've been watching while i'm working and it's so fucking good i think it's the best thing i've watched since clarkson's farm so let me know what you're watching at the moment and uh, i hope you enjoyed the session fits is away this week so we've a couple of videos recorded but i might try to get more daily sessions in just for the novelty just to change it up for you guys a little bit so i'll try to get more individual sessions uploaded and um i thank you for watching one thing i did record as well now we know we're going for a long time with the black screen here but i did record last thursday on the video that where it got corrupted just asking you guys what you uh, what would you, is there anything you'd like to see in these training vlogs anything a little bit different or is there anything you you want to know uh, how i can make them more engaging for you or in terms of uh, or is it fine as it is is this what you want from training vlogs i know a lot of people enjoy them i just want to make sure we're staying on top of things and not getting kind of uh resting on our laurels as it were uh, I just want to make sure my main uh, goal is just to record as many as possible and get them up uh, because I like doing them and I know people like watching them. So let me know. Let me know your favorite show and if there's anything in the vlogs that you want to know.